Hey everybody! So this video is basically from February 2020 when I was living in Islamabad, Pakistan. I visited a friend of mine and recorded some clips at the place where he was staying. And yes, these are peacocks that you're seeing right now. So the reason why I was in Pakistan is because I was a music teacher in a school where there's a continuum from the elementary school up to high school. In addition to teaching music, I also taught mathematics to grade 6 for some reason, as well as information technology to grade 12. I think it's fair to say it was quite a confusing job in teaching. <laughs> The man in black that you see right now toying around with the turkey <laughs> is a friend of mine, Javad. He's an independent filmmaker, so he goes to places recording footages. And as he goes around, he also changes his location of residence quite a bit. He's originally from Lahore, but at this time, he happened to stay in the eastern side of Islamabad, where there's the 3rd Avenue, as well as the Kaidi Azam University. Yes, he don't like it, and you're close. Here comes the lunch time. So the bread that you see on the left side seem relatively thick to me, so I think they were none. Having said that, it's good to note that in Pakistan, people eat chapati or roti, both of which are thinner, much more often than they eat naan. Nonetheless, on this day, I was served naan. I love all kinds of bread in Pakistan, man. Eh? And what you see on the right side are chickpeas called chana in Urdu. So the Pakistani people love to eat meat, but they also obtain protein from beans and lentils. This is similar to how the East Asians love to eat soybeans for protein. But in Pakistan, there's almost no soybean, as far as I know. So what they eat instead are chickpeas called chana or lentils called dal. Because we love dogs, man. So he just said, because we love dogs, man, and they are keeping as many dogs as these here. And I thought this was very interesting because in Pakistan, I observed that dogs aren't necessarily popular as pets. And I've been making my wild guesses as to why. My first is that dogs could be dirty. I mean, they leave poops on the ground, the hair falls down all over, and that kind of goes against the ethos of Muslim society, which I understand values cleanliness very highly. My second is that, let's face it, on libraries people aren't that wealthy as compared to the west for example so they simply can't afford pets like dogs so seeing all these animals from dogs to peacocks to turkeys it was very cool super cool 